Hello, Tim from Fair Play Now on the 21st of August 2022. One bit of news that caught my eye somewhere a bit earlier on in the week, probably midweek, and then I was reminded about it at the weekend, a couple of, you know, day or two ago. And apparently the government here in the UK are talking about, um, as they do from time to time, kind of bringing restrictions in on bicycles, you know, making people having to have them registered, sort of put number plates on them, uh, having to have insurance and tax and maybe a license, you know, wh whatever the proposals are. And they tend to do this once in a while. And it caught my eye because I've I'm not a real, real sort of cyclist, you know, really mega into it, but I do like a cycle ride. Uh, I went on that one last uh, last week, you might have seen that uh, video with me out and about, and that was a fairly decent length ride. And of course I was into cycling when I was a kid and a teenager, and uh, although I progressed on some motorbikes and things like that, and cars uh, when I got to my late teens, uh, I've always had cycles and I've always enjoyed uh, the occasional ride here and there and one of the things I really like about it is it's one of the few things where it's total freedom I and mean, you can literally go out there grab a bicycle uh, you might have one already but if you haven't you could probably easily buy one brand new for uh, um, certainly a couple of hundred pounds, maybe even a hundred pounds. And you could certainly get a decent second-hand one for a uh, uh, hundred or way under a hundred even. And then, you know, give it a quick check over. You might need to know a little bit about cycle maintenance or grab someone who does. And then check it over and then get out on the road and or on the sort of paths or whatever you want to do. And it's just a total freedom. And there's just so few things in modern life that gives you that kind of freedom. Yes, I know a lot of people, especially if you're a driver, uh, sort of think cyclists are annoying, you know, they can get in the way, they kind of jump red lights and uh, not follow the rules of the road. And it can be a little bit annoying for uh, motorists. So I totally get that. But I think it would be very wrong to take away this bastion of freedom. So I think it would be a great shame if this last bastion of freedom was taken away and we ought to do everything we can to fight against it. And um, because after all, this government seems hell bent on taking all of our freedoms away. So it really doesn't surprise me that they're going after cyclists and it's just uh, another one of these things that we have to fight against, be on our guard about. And it'll probably fizzle out, and they keep doing this, uh, you know, probably for as long as I can remember, you get some idiot popping up and saying, oh yeah, we're gonna look into, uh, um, yeah, making cyclists, you yeah, know, register their bikes or whatever it is, but then it dies a death, so it's probably gonna happen again. Uh, but yeah, we need to make sure it disappears and just keep this, uh, one of the very few bits of freedom, total freedom that we have alive and well. So just a quick observation there for you today and I'll leave it there. Back tomorrow, Tim for Fair Play Now. Thanks for watching.